Okay, let's install Pygame and uh, Python 3 on macOS. So first uh, up Python 3. So we uh, just bring up a web browser and go to python.org. And uh, there is the Python website. So you learn a lot of things about Python there, of course. But uh, we just want uh, the download. It should uh, directly um, detect your operating system and uh, uh, see that you're on a Mac, so and then say download for Mac OS, and we just click on that and download, and it's not very big. And uh, once we have this, we can uh, run the uh, package installer. And at the same time, then just close uh, the browser and uh, just install everything as the uh, default, so uh, everything is just fine. Uh, install it on the system. As I said, it's not very large, so uh, you will have to give it your um, administrator password. And once this is done, we should be seeing um, Python folder in our um, apps folder. So let's see this to install. Okay, here it is, and uh, this is now in uh, the applications folder. So um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, run the uh, integrated development environment. It's, uh, it's called idle for integrated development and a learning environment. And uh, I'm just double click on this and this brings up idle with the uh, Python shell. And um, I always like to show this off. There's a neat little Easter egg in uh, Python. So uh, we can actually import a module called anti gravity. So when I type import anti gravity, um, then um, um, I actually get a, a webcomic from XKCD Randall Vandros. Um, XKCD webcomic about Python. So, uh, but that shows us that uh, Python is installed and is working. Uh, the one thing that is uh, not on there yet is uh, Pygame. So, if I try to import Pygame, I will see that uh, the module is not being found. So, we will have to uh, install Pygame. So, let's do that next. And for that, we'll have to uh, use the uh, uh, terminal program. So easiest way to uh, bring that up is go to Spotlight and type terminal and that will bring up the terminal program. And the uh, um, um, program that we use to install Pygame, Py uh, Python comes with its own uh, package management system and uh, it has a nice package uh, repository and the program that uh, uh, handles that uh, is uh, um, the uh, uh, program called pip and it's written in Python so we have to actually uh, run this um, um, by ourselves so uh, let's uh, uh, run this via Python so uh, let's first see we should uh, be seeing when we type uh, Python 3 and then space and then two dashes dash dash version uh, that uh, will get the um, installed version, the latest installed version of uh, Python. And um, now let's uh, go ahead and uh, install this. So we have to just type uh, Python 3 and then uh, we want to execute the module named pip and then uh, install this uh, or update this. And then we want to um, um, specify that we want to install Pygame, but we want to not install the latest stable version of Pygame, which is 1.9, but we are requesting a development version 2.0.0.-dev uh, 10, which is the latest as of now. Uh, but uh, this will give you the uh, latest one no matter what. And uh, so we want a development version, especially on the Mac, because uh, the majority of Macs these days have read the displays, very high uh, resolution, and uh, uh, Pygame uh, uh, 
up to uh, version 1.9 cannot really handle this very well. So uh, they're about, uh, and they fixed this in, uh, in Pygame 2. Um, and uh, uh, it is, uh, as you can see, a development version, but they are very close to actually release the final 2.0 version. But that allows us, however, to effectively and efficiently use um, uh, Pygame on uh, systems with RedNet displays. So, and then we want to do this on a per user basis so that we don't uh, need to uh, install this for everybody just for us. So, and then uh, when we uh, do this, um, where's the user version view? Okay, hold on. Oh, I forgot, I'm sorry, I forgot the uh, uh, install thing here, right? So, uh, that of course uh, can happen. So, I forgot to actually tell it to actually install it. So, Okay, um, so it's uh, Python 3 and then dash m pip install, then dash u for update, install or update, then the package uh, number and then the um, user uh, option. Okay, and now it will go to the package index. As you can see again, it's not very large and it has uh, installed Pygame. So let's see whether this is actually. Uh, present so we can go back to our spotlight here and then type idle and uh, we should get um, idle here make sure by the way um, um, some um, default installations uh, of Mac OS still come with Python uh, Python 2 so make sure uh, or some other versions of Python as you can see here so make sure that you pick uh, the one that you installed uh, 3.8 and uh, so here's idle and uh, when we import pygame now we should see that uh, we get a successful load of the uh, pygame module with a little uh, message that uh, uh, we have successfully loaded this so pygame is uh, up and running on our mac and we are again ready to rock and roll so now uh, we diverged in, in our paths of this tutorial between windows and mac os from now on everything uh, will happen uh, on my Mac because that's what I have but uh, um, as far as the programming and the presentation goes uh, there will be no difference whatsoever to the Windows version so uh, I will be using my Mac and you'll be using whatever machine uh, you have and you install it on. So um, let's get uh, coding and write our um, first uh, code to uh, just basically get started with Pygame from scratch. <laughs> 